Some of Australia's top female rugby players hit the park at Duntroon today. They weren't representing their state or their country, but their workplace, as the police force took on defence. Many dream of one day turning their passion into their career. They ran out wearing the green and gold. But they're not the Wallaroos. Duntroon today hosted the first women's rugby match between the police and the ADF. The guys have had rugby for a number of years, they've had rugby league. The girls never had a chance to and now it's, now it's our time to shine. The ranks of the military and police force host a remarkable number of Australia's top female footy players. We've got uh, a Wallaroo who's our vice captain, Alicia Hewitt, um, and a lot of girls who have played for um, teams in the Super W this year. It's the reality for many women near the top of rugby union and other sports. Time for football has to be found outside of work. It's tough for us because obviously we, we work full time and then we've got to train on top of it as well. It's the same as the Super W, you know, you, you train four days a week and then play on weekends. Um, it's hard to tie in the two. Corporal Lucy Lockhart has managed to represent Australia in rugby union and rugby league while serving in the military. Now she's giving full time footy a crack while still serving in the Army Reserves. The more supporters and fans we have, the more likely we are to actually get recognised recognized as elite athletes. But for most, policing or serving in the ADF is going to keep paying the bills. For a lot of it, like myself, I think we're past that. We've got our career, we can't go that way. But for the younger ones, definitely, like to see girls playing football full time would be amazing. And there will be more matches like this to enjoy. Defence took the bragging rights this year, but the rivalry is only just beginning. Tom Lowry, ABC News, Canberra.